dive into the extraordinary world of Andrew Tate's stoicism, hit subscribe for more unfiltered wisdom. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you resonate with Andrew's approach? Remember, the journey to stoic greatness is diverse. Stay tuned for more unconventional stoicism. And don't forget to share this video with fellow seekers of wisdom. Together, we redefine what it means to be stoic. Hash stoicism, hash Andrew Tate, hash unconventional wisdom. Have you ever wondered how stoicism could impact your life? In our fast-paced world, filled with distractions and noise, an ancient philosophy has been making a quiet resurgence. That philosophy is stoicism, known for promoting self-control, endurance, and resilience. Stoicism teaches us to remain steady amidst life's storms, to focus on what we can control and let go of what we can't. Stoicism was born in Athens, Greece in the 3rd century BC, and has been embraced by great thinkers, leaders, and athletes throughout history. One such individual who embodies Stoicism in today's world is Andrew Tate. He's not just any ordinary man, he is a four-time world kickboxing champion, a successful entrepreneur, and a firm believer in the power of Stoicism. Andrew Tate leverages the principles of Stoicism, not only in his professional endeavors, but also in navigating the challenges and triumphs of everyday life. Through his interpretation of Stoicism, he has managed to achieve outstanding feats, maintain mental fortitude, and cultivate an unshakable sense of self-assuredness. The essence of Stoicism, as embraced by Andrew Tate, lies in its simplicity and practicality. It encourages us to live life to the fullest, to embrace our strengths and weaknesses, and to strive for virtue and wisdom above all else. It's about finding tranquility in the face of adversity, about learning to dance in the rain rather than waiting for the storm to pass. So why does this matter to you? Well, Stoicism isn't just for the likes of world-class athletes or successful entrepreneurs. It is a philosophy for all of us, a guide to living a fulfilled and meaningful life, no matter who we are or where we come from. Stoicism teaches us that while we cannot control everything that happens to us, we can control how we react to it. We can choose to let our circumstances define us, or we can define ourselves despite our circumstances. It's about cultivating an inner strength that allows us to face life's challenges head on and come out stronger on the other side. Join us as we delve into eight ways Andrew Tate practices stoicism and how you can apply these principles to your own life. Imagine being in a kickboxing ring facing a formidable opponent. How would Andrew Tate handle it? Picture this, our protagonist, Andrew Tate, four-time world kickboxing champion, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a fierce competitor. The crowd is deafening, the air thick with anticipation. But amidst this chaos, Andrew is an island of calm. He doesn't allow the cacophony around him to shake his resolve. This is the essence of a stoic approach to life, and Andrew has mastered it. There's a moment from Andrew's kickboxing career that perfectly encapsulates this principle. It was a high-stakes match, the championship title on the line. His opponent was an aggressive fighter, known for his intimidating tactics. As the fight progressed, the opponent resorted to underhanded moves, trying to provoke Andrew, attempting to disrupt his focus. But Andrew, he did something remarkable. He didn't retaliate with anger. He didn't let the opponent's tactics rattle him. He took a deep breath, steadied himself, and maintained his composure. He controlled his emotions and reactions, not allowing himself to be swayed by external factors. He focused on what's within his control, his strategy, his moves, his responses. And that's how Andrew won that fight, not by succumbing to the provocations, but by rising above them, by exercising control over his reactions. He demonstrated the strength and power of control, not just in the ring, but also in life. This is a lesson we can all take away from Andrew's approach to Stoicism. Life will throw punches at us, try to provoke us, push us off balance. But like Andrew, we have the power to control our reactions. We can choose not to let external circumstances dictate our state of mind. Because at the end of the day, the only thing we truly have control over is ourselves, our actions, our responses, our emotions. We can't control the world around us, but we can control how we react to it. So, the next time you find yourself confronted with a challenging situation, remember Andrew's story. Remember his calm, his composure, his control. Remember, the only thing you can truly control is how you react to things. Ever wondered how Andrew Tate endured rigorous training sessions? Well, the answer lies in a unique blend of stoicism and a concept that's often misunderstood. Embracing discomfort. The Stoics believe that life is filled with challenges and adversities, and it's our response to these adversities that truly define us. 
For Andrew, this meant facing the grueling demands of his training with open arms. Andrew's approach to his training sessions is a testament to his stoic values. He didn't just tolerate the discomfort, he embraced it. He recognized that discomfort was an inevitable part of growth and excellence, and he met it head on. But how did he do it? How did he manage to push through the pain, the sweat, and the exhaustion? Well, he made discomfort his ally. He understood that every drop of sweat, every muscle ache, every moment of exhaustion was a step towards his goals. Andrew didn't view discomfort as a punishment or an obstacle, but as a tool for growth. Each training session was not a test of his endurance, but an opportunity to grow stronger, to improve, to become better. He saw each moment of discomfort as a moment of transformation. And that's a lesson we can all learn from. In our lives, we often shy away from discomfort. We avoid it at all costs, and in doing so, we miss out on opportunities for growth. But what if we took a page out of Andrew's book? What if we started to embrace discomfort, to see it not as an enemy, but as an ally? Imagine the possibilities. Imagine the growth. Imagine the strength. So the next time you find yourself in a situation that's uncomfortable, remember Andrew Tate. Remember his approach to training. Remember his stoic values. And instead of running away from the discomfort, embrace it. Because as Andrew has shown us, embracing discomfort is not just about enduring pain. It's about growing stronger, becoming better, and reaching new heights. Embracing discomfort is not about suffering, but about growing stronger. Does criticism affect Andrew Tate? The answer might surprise you because it's a resounding no, but it's not because he's impervious to the sting of harsh words. It's because he's mastered the art of indifference. Let's delve into a story from Andrew's life, a tale that beautifully encapsulates this stoic principle. It was a time when he was in the spotlight, at the peak of his kickboxing career. Critics were aplenty and opinions were flying left, right, and center. But did Andrew let this external chatter affect him? Not in the slightest, he chose indifference. Now don't mistake indifference for apathy. Indifference in the stoic sense is about discerning what is within your control and what is not. It's about understanding that other people's opinions are just that. Opinions. They are fleeting, subjective, and most importantly, out of your control. Andrew understood this. He knew that he could control his actions, his responses, and his attitude. But the opinions of others? Those were beyond his sphere of influence. So he chose to invest his energy where it mattered, in his training, his performance, his passion. He chose to put his emotions into his craft, not into the ever-changing tide of public opinion. This is the key to Andrew's indifference. He isn't devoid of emotions. He simply chooses where to invest them. He chooses to care about things that are within his control. He chooses to be indifferent to external factors that he cannot change. This is a powerful lesson for us all. We can't control the world around us, but we can control how we react to it. We can choose to let go of the things that are beyond our control. We can choose to be indifferent to the noise and focus on what truly matters. Indifference is not about being emotionless. It's about choosing where to invest your emotions. This is the art of indifference. This is the stoic principle that Andrew Tate lives by. And it's a principle that can help us all live more fulfilling, peaceful lives. What does Andrew Tate value the most? If you're familiar with his philosophies, you may have guessed it already. It's virtue. Yes, that's right. Virtue. It's not money, fame, or even success in the traditional sense. It's virtue. The moral compass that guides every decision he makes, every action he takes. So how does he define virtue? Andrew Tate sees virtue as moral excellence, the highest form of goodness. He believes that virtue is not just about doing what's right, but also about being the best version of oneself possible. It's about striving for excellence, not just in what we do, but in who we are. Let's delve into a few anecdotes from his life that illustrate his commitment to virtue. There was a time when he was faced with a choice between a lucrative business deal and sticking to his principles. Many would have taken the money and run, but not Andrew. He chose to walk away, to stay true to his principles, to his virtue. Or consider another instance, when he was at the peak of his kickboxing career. He could have used questionable tactics to secure his position at the top. Instead, he chose to compete fairly, to win or lose based on his skill and dedication alone. He chose virtue over easy victory. These examples are not exceptions, but rather, they are the rule in Andrew's life. They reflect his commitment to virtue, to moral excellence. And this commitment is not just about his personal life. It extends to every aspect of his life, including his business practices, his relationships, 
and his approach to personal development. Andrew Tate's approach to Stoicism is deeply rooted in this commitment to virtue. He believes that virtue is not something that's handed to us on a silver platter. It's something we must strive for, something we must cultivate within ourselves. It's a lifelong journey, a path that we must choose to walk every single day. So, let's take a leaf out of Andrew's book. Let's strive for virtue, for moral excellence. Let's be the best versions of ourselves we can possibly be. Remember, virtue is the highest good. How does Andrew Tate make the most of his time? Well, friends, the answer lies in his unwavering focus on the present moment. This is a key principle of Stoicism that Andrew has masterfully woven into the fabric of his life, and it's one that continues to serve him well on his journey. Let's consider a story from his life to understand this better. It was a chilly November evening, and Andrew found himself in the middle of a high-stakes poker game. The tension in the room was palpable. Around him, players were busy calculating odds, strategizing and worrying about the future outcomes. But not Andrew. His mind was firmly rooted in the present, focused solely on the hand he was playing. He wasn't concerned about what the next move might bring or how the game might end. He was living in the now, making the most of the moment at hand. And that's exactly how he approaches life. Andrew understands that dwelling on the past or worrying about the future is a fruitless endeavor. These are elements beyond our control. The only thing we truly have power over is the current moment. By focusing on the present, Andrew has maximized his potential, both personally and professionally. He knows that each moment is an opportunity, a blank canvas, ready to be painted with the vibrant colors of our actions. He is the embodiment of the Stoic principle, carpe diem, seize the day. It's about making the most of the now because the now is all we really have. It's about recognizing the beauty of the moment and harnessing its power to create, to learn, to grow. So, the next time you find yourself worrying about the past or the future, remember Andrew's poker game, remember his unwavering focus on the hand he was playing, and how that focus allowed him to succeed. Let his story serve as a reminder that the present moment is a gift, a unique opportunity that should not be wasted. The present moment is all we truly have, make it count. Has Andrew Tate ever faced a setback? Of course he has. Like all of us, Andrew has faced his fair share of hardships. But the way he deals with them is what sets him apart and aligns him with the principles of Stoicism. Let's talk about one such instance. At the height of his kickboxing career, Andrew sustained a severe injury that forced him to step back from the ring. It was a crushing blow. The ring was his world, his passion. But instead of letting this setback consume him, Andrew took a different path. He chose acceptance. He accepted that his journey as a kickboxer had hit a roadblock. But this acceptance wasn't a sign of surrender. It was a recognition of reality. And armed with this reality, he began to work with it, not against it. Andrew began to see his injury not as a setback but as an opportunity. A chance to explore new horizons, to use his skills and experience in different arenas. He channeled his energy into business, becoming a successful entrepreneur. He used his knowledge of discipline and determination from his kickboxing days to drive his ventures. Andrew's story is a powerful testament to the stoic principle of accepting what we cannot change. He couldn't change the fact that he was injured, that his kickboxing career was temporarily halted. But he could change his perspective, his reaction to the situation. He didn't wallow in self-pity or let the setback define him. Instead, he accepted his fate and decided to work with it. He turned his setback into a stepping stone, a launch pad for his next venture. This is the essence of Stoicism. It's about recognizing that we cannot control everything that happens to us. But we can control how we respond, we can choose to accept our fate not as a bitter pill to swallow, but as a part of our journey, a stepping stone to something greater. So, has Andrew Tate ever faced a setback? Yes, he has. But more importantly, he's shown us how to face them with grace, with acceptance, with stoicism. Acceptance is not resignation, it's acknowledging reality and working with it. How does Andrew Tate handle dependence? Well, Andrew's philosophy on this is clear, and it's deeply rooted in the stoic principle of self-reliance. Andrew Tate has always emphasized the importance of independence and self-sufficiency in his life. He understands that the only person he can truly depend on, at the end of the day, is himself. Let's take a glimpse into some instances from Andrew's life where he demonstrated this stoic principle. When Andrew first ventured into the world of kickboxing, 
he didn't merely rely on his trainers or his team. Instead, he took it upon himself to understand the sport, training relentlessly, studying his opponents and refining his technique. This dedication towards self-reliance propelled him to become a four-time world champion. But self-reliance in Andrew's life isn't confined to his career. It permeates every aspect of his existence. When faced with challenges, Andrew doesn't look externally for solutions. Instead, he looks inward, tapping into his strength, his knowledge, and his resilience to overcome the hurdles life throws at him. For example, when he embarked on his entrepreneurial journey, he didn't seek external validation or approval. He trusted his instincts, relied on his skills, and forged his path despite the obstacles. Today he stands as a successful entrepreneur, a testament to his self-reliance and independence. Andrew's approach to self-reliance is not about disregarding the importance of others. It's about understanding that while support and help are beneficial, they should not be the crutches one leans on. It's about recognizing that the real strength lies within oneself and harnessing that power to navigate life's challenges. Andrew, through his life, stands as a living example of the stoic principle of self-reliance. He embodies the belief that one's fortitude, resilience, and willpower are the most reliable assets one possesses. He shows us that to truly live a fulfilling and successful life, one must learn to depend on oneself, to trust oneself, and to believe in one's abilities. Rely on yourself, your strength lies within you. This is Andrew Tate's mantra, his guiding principle, and it's a lesson we can all take to heart as we navigate our own lives. So, what can we learn from Andrew Tate's approach to Stoicism? Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've taken today, exploring the eight Stoic principles that Andrew Tate not only preaches but lives by. Each principle, though unique in its essence, converges to create a profound roadmap to personal development. Firstly, we dived into the power of control. Understanding what is within our control and what is not is the first step towards tranquility. Andrew Tate teaches us to focus our energy on things we can change and accept those we cannot, fostering resilience and tranquility. Next, we delved into the concept of embracing discomfort. Often, it's the hardships that shape us, that make us stronger. Andrew Tate challenges us to step outside of our comfort zones, to face adversity head on. This approach not only toughens our mental resolve, but also broadens our horizons, making us adaptable and robust. Then, we ventured into the art of indifference. This principle urges us to remain detached from external circumstances, to be indifferent to things that do not affect our virtue. Andrew Tate exemplifies this through his stoic demeanor, reminding us that the key to inner peace lies in our ability to remain unperturbed by external influences. Our fourth principle, virtue above all, underscores the importance of integrity and moral excellence. Andrew Tate believes in the power of virtue, in doing what is right, regardless of the circumstances. This principle acts as a moral compass, guiding us towards a life of authenticity and honor. We then explored the principle of living in the present. Andrew Tate encourages us to live in the now, to fully experience each moment as it unfolds. This principle helps us cultivate mindfulness, enhancing our awareness and appreciation of life's beauty. Our sixth principle, acceptance of fate, taught us the value of accepting the inevitable. Andrew Tate's stoic acceptance of life's unpredictability urges us to embrace the uncertainty, to find peace amidst chaos. This acceptance liberates us from the fear of the unknown, fostering courage and serenity. Next, we discussed the principle of self-reliance. Andrew Tate stresses the importance of relying on oneself, of being self-sufficient. This principle empowers us to take charge of our lives, boosting our confidence and independence. Finally, we reach the culmination of our journey, the path to personal development, where all these principles converge. Andrew Tate's approach to Stoicism offers us a comprehensive toolkit for personal development. Each principle, when internalized and practiced, has the potential to profoundly impact our lives, to transform us into stronger, more resilient individuals. Remember, these principles are not mere theories to be read and forgotten. They are practices to be lived, to be woven into the fabric of our daily lives. They are stepping stones on the path to personal development, guiding us towards a life of peace, resilience, and fulfillment. So, as we wrap up this journey, let's take these lessons to heart. Let's strive to incorporate these principles into our lives, to live by them, just as Andrew Tate does. Because at the end of the day, it's not about merely knowing these principles, 
It's about living them, it's about embodying them. Stoicism is more than a philosophy. It's a way of life. And as Andrew Tate shows us, it can be a powerful tool for personal development.